Today we're going to make some black garlic. The first time I ever heard of this stuff was that one particular episode of Bob's Burgers, and I finally decided to give it a try. And I'm glad I did, because the transformation from regular garlic to this gooey, sweet, amazing goodness is truly amazing. The texture, color, and flavor all completely change. The texture should almost be spreadable, and the flavor is almost like caramel with slightly earthy undertones. And with this method, it's super easy, so let's go ahead and get started here. We're gonna need a couple of things. Garlic, of course, and I like using these large oven bags. This is the turkey variety, so it's extra huge. The reason we're using these instead of something like a Ziploc bag is because these are actually designed to be heated, whereas the Ziplocs really aren't. And the third thing we need is a rice cooker or a pressure cooker, or something similar that has a keep warm setting. And in the bottom here, I just have a little bamboo skewer rack that I tied together just to keep the garlic off the bottom. But honestly, the bottom half of a steamer basket like this works even better. And the thing I like most about this method is we're just going to load all the garlic straight into the one bag like this. Now, supposedly, if you can find garlic with some purple skin on the outside, it's supposed to make tastier black garlic. But I don't really think that's true. Some of my heads here were completely white and some of them had the purple and they all came out tasting great. Most of the other black garlic techniques I saw online involved individually wrapping each head of garlic in plastic and then tin foil, but not only does that not actually seal the garlic in, resulting in drier black garlic and a lot more smell while you're making it, but it takes like 10 times as long, and who wants that? And while we get that tied off, have you heard about the dog that ate a bunch of garlic? His bark was worse than his bite. Anyway, now that we've tied up those loose ends, we can go ahead and seal the deal here with our cooking vessel. And we're only going to be using the keep warm function. Before I made the recipe, I actually tested the temperature, which is going to range between 140 and 170 in this particular model, which is just fine for black garlic. If you have somewhere covered outdoors you can let this run, that's ideal. Because we're going to need to let this cook for two to four weeks. And even in that plastic bag, we're going to get a fair bit of garlic smell. And of course, every model is going to be different, but with mine, the warmer turns off after 24 hours. So keep an eye on that. Keep the warmer turned on as necessary. And after about a week, we just want to pop this open and give the bag a quick flip. You'll see a bunch of moisture inside and outside of the bag. That's totally normal. Now we'll just continue cooking on the warming setting for at least another week. I was expecting mine to take two weeks, but it wound up taking more like three. Here's what mine looked like after two weeks. It's got a great color, but it's still really firm, and it's got more of a dark brown color than a black color. But that's no problem. We can just put all of that back in here, and I'm going to keep cooking for another week. And here we are at week three. Let's give this another quick check. I can already tell our garlic is darker on the outside, but we won't know until we get inside. So let's go ahead and take our cloves off. And that's looking good. We want it to be actual black, not a dark brown color. So let's go ahead and pop that all the way out here. And this clove has been completely transformed. Not only is the color and smell different, but the texture is too. They've gotten really soft, almost like a prune or a candied date. And you'll be really shocked by just how sweet and candy-like they are. I plan to do a couple of videos featuring black garlic in the coming months, so why not go ahead and start a batch? I hope you've enjoyed today's episode of Passion for Food. If you have, give me a thumbs up below and don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss our future recipes. And check out one of our other awesome videos on the screen now. This has been Graham with a passion for food.